Okay, um, this is not going to be a perfect tutorial because I sometimes have sometimes have issues with Max. For example, now I'm going to try. Okay, so this is an animation I made uh, of a car getting out of the garage, and then I added another car which is a Kia Sportage. Actually, I have a car exactly like this one. And uh, I, already, I already rigged it. And uh, so what I'm going to try to do, uh, I'm going to try and ride the car and fix the driving because it's very easy to drive unless you really practice a lot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, drive it. Again, this is the start point. So I click the update and the car goes directly into the start location. Then I press the drive. I drive it twice, I click it and I activate it. I already configured my keys to the numpad. I am a lefty, so I'm not very comfortable using the left side of the keyboard. And so I'll try to, I use the break, the N key in the numpad, and the left, right, uh, the side uh, keys, four and six. Throttle would be the upper one, the N8, the number eight, of course. And uh, the, the middle one, the five, will be the shift between uh, forward and uh, reverse. So let's move this one here. And I will try uh, several takes because I know it. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to take the track bar. I'm not going to auto record or in any way uh, because the Metcar will record what you do once you press the enter key. So I take the track bar to where I want. So for example, if I want the car, uh, my car, this one, the white, to, to start driving at this point, then I will click and, and, the, and enter and drive. It takes, oh sorry, I have to press the five key and use the throttle. Obviously it goes slower than you would think. Now I'll uh, press stop and I'm going to uh, press the enter and I will go back and forth just dragging the, the slider of the track bar. So what I want to do is first uh, go take it back to the beginning and I click here and press the enter and now I'm going to start driving and once I see that the car may or may not choke with the other one I will break. And then I will again uh, drive again and I will try to move the, the viewport. It's not as easy because it has lots of calculation. Now suppose I made a mistake and I drove onto the pavement and I stop and it will fall to the infinity because the terrain here is not part of the... So I'm going to press the enter, go back with a slider to the place I want to uh, reinitiate the driving. So instead of going back and down to the infinity or the abyss, I go ahead and put it here, click activate, enter, and drive directly. So I may steer to the left and right. And again, I stop because I see that I'm going again on the pavement. This is very difficult because there the response times of the of the the plugin, the Metcar, is slow. Uh, it may have to do with some parameters here. I've yet to find the one that will allow it to start directly. There is a sensitivity uh, parameter to the brake and the throttle, and I'm not sure what to do. So I go back to where I want. For example here, I click, 
start again and as you can see the car is still oh, back so again this is very difficult so I go a little back uh, further back because uh, when I put the car here it already has some um, um, kinematics that uh, already take the car over the edge so click activate enter and oops, stop choke okay there is no uh, choking uh, mechanism here again click activate and ah Now I changed the oh oh so for example if we want to park so I take the car reaches here and then he the driver wants to park here so what I'll do is first let's I don't remember which one of the forward or backwards is uh, already in so I'm going to stop and back yeah it was on reverse so I'm going to steer it it is already too fast so I'm going to uh, hold both keys and uh, stop and enter the stop so now if I go back you can see that it stops here. No, it doesn't. It should have stopped here, but it goes back. And and uh, so, okay, I made it not as good as I would like to do, but you get the idea. So that the fact that you can just take the the the, tra the slider wherever you want, for example, here, and click and stop 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 going back and then stop and maybe shift it forward and stop and there I uh, use a spacebar to handbrake and now I'm going to press the enter and let's see if it, it was successful so let's play the start let's go back to the beginning and uh, press play so the neighbor's car gets out of the garage I had to stop then I, I resume driving and of course now I stopped they decided I want to uh, park my car I do a reverse and then I set it so this is one uh, thing that you can do and a different thing a different option is to draw a path and uh, let's go uh, take the car back here and let's draw a spline and going to do I'm going to wait I'm going to take it here here and there and I'm going to just fill it both um, vertices and um, Let's do a another, add some vertices. Um, sorry. Let's add uh, one here, 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 here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Just um, set them to smooth. I will cause them to maybe go on the pavement now notice that here we have a, a bumper that I made so now I'm going to uh, select the medcar helper 
going to use target and press and select the spline. Now what uh, you should do, this is what I do, is first you have to set it to, of course, uh, always update a surface. Uh, it will take some seconds. Once it turns back to gray, now it is. Press the drive again and move it. I click the enter and I'm going to use a keyboard because the car goes along the path, but you may force the car to sort of go out of the, the path. Now notice it will go over the bumper. And I'm going to, I just released the, the fingers to off the keyboard, so uh, Okay, it reached the 1,000 uh, frames, so let's take it back and let's see how it went. So, It should be moving sometime. Okay, what the, the problem is that I, own, I just started the, the track bar was at around 700. I should have, uh, so let's take it back. So, so uh, I will take the slider back to the beginning and now I will again update reset update will take it to the start location going to drive click and then going to Okay, so I'm going to take it back. The reason it got uh, uh, all over, rolled over, is because it gained speed. So what I have to do is actually maybe stop a little. Again, this is a question of how good a driver you are. And stop and if I uh, shift gears it will take me back again along the path I may release the, uh, my fingers of the keyboard just to allow it to slow down I'm going to stop again I'm going to go back on the road and See, you can change the, the offset from the path by using the steering wheel. Okay, so go back to zero, press the play. Now, if you want to animate the cam, 